Within southern Utah are a spectacular assortment of dramatic cliffs alongside orange, brown, and white sedimentary rock layers. Due to how easily these rocks erode, they have formed many ravines and valleys which are more than 1,000 feet deep. This surrounding rock thus makes the following feature which is 10.5 miles south-southeast of one such deep valley all the more unusual. What you are looking at is a spectacular mesa which rises 100 meters or 328 feet above the surrounding metropolitan area of the city of St. George in Utah, with an airport being located on its top. And just to its west is the West Black Ridge, which is twice its height, rising more than 650 feet above the surrounding desert landscape. As regional high points, you might think that these two mesas must have existed as high points for tens or even hundreds of millions of years. However, this couldn't be further from the truth. As a mere 1.4 million years ago for the Mesa with the airport, and 2.1 million years ago for West Black Ridge Mesa, these features represent the bottom of a deep ravine, looking somewhat like the modern-day Zion National Park, albeit not quite as deep. Yet, into this ancient riverbed erupted a volume of basaltic lava, with both eruptions originating from the dormant Santa Clara volcanic field, which has not erupted in modern times in around 30,000 years. The lava this erupted created numerous lava dams in the riverbed as lava was funneled into a single direction, representing the path the river channel once took. Thus, when looking at the two independent lava flows, you can see the direction the river varied over a time span of 700,000 years. So, how did rock at the bottom of a deep valley around 2 million years ago become such a steep mesa which rises above the surrounding landscape? The answer is that both of these features are what are referred to as inverted valleys, being a type of geologic oddity where, in a short geologic time span, what landforms that were once at the bottom of the regional topography become the top, and the top of the older regional topography becomes the bottom. In this case, the cause is the Santa Clara volcanic field itself. Although some exceptions exist, generally speaking, metamorphic and igneous rocks are far harder and thus more resistant to erosion than sedimentary rock. Taking this into account, rock formations often undergo preferential erosion over millions of years, such as displayed at the modern Glasshouse Mountains in Australia, where harder rocks erode at a far slower rate which, in that case, was granite compared to far weaker surrounding sedimentary rock. Thus, over time, broad rock units which are harder than the erosion-prone rock they are surrounded by, such as limestone and sandstone, are likely to form tall plateaus, even if they are a thin surface layer. Thus, when cinder and spatter cone vents erupted as part of Basin Range Province volcanism, vents were likely to form within a valley which had grown within a section of Graben. And, even if they did not, gravity would pull these lava flows into one as molten rock flowed down slope. Thus, when the 2.1 million year old lava flow occurred, it filled the bottom of what was once a valley that was more than 100 feet deep. After this eruption ended, the lava cooled, and the thin cap of harder basaltic rock acted as a natural guard against the weaker rock beneath it. Thus, the sedimentary rock beneath the basalt did not quickly erode away while the surrounding sedimentary rock did. In the following 400,000 years, a plateau formed which rose slightly above the regional topography. Then, another eruption occurred 1.7 million years ago which, as you can see by its lower elevation, meant that the valley 1.7 million years ago was lower elevation-wise than it was 400,000 years prior. This then underwent the same process, and due to the majority of the uphill portions of a lava flow being eroded away by the path of the ancient river, it created two prominent mountains which were originally lava flows at the bottom of two valleys. Thanks for watching. If you would like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, I would like to thank this channel's patrons on Patreon and channel members on YouTube.